let's see if we can handle it. Monster hunting is a pretty difficult job, chiefly due to the fact that the damn blighters are becoming quite rare in this day and age. The monster slayer has lived for so long that he has since switched to hunting more humanoid targets, as they are more plentiful and pay just as well. However, that does not mean that he has gotten rusty. Retirement may be just a hundred years away from now, but until then, he can cut up abominations with the best of them. And it turns out the switch from slaying living, breathing humans, to undead is not a particularly difficult one. To battle! Alright, Mr. Monster Slayer. Let's destroy you. Yep, you polish your blade up. He's got a couple different, like, stances that he can go into. Um, this one heals him every single turn. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of... Quite a bit going on here for him. So, what, what are we going to do? Oh yeah, and these stones are interesting. Every time you hit a stone, it restores uh, stuff to you. So, you can heal health by hitting this. You can restore wrath or mana by hitting this. Pretty interesting. Um, we are going to... Okay, our units already have super high initiative. Maybe get one of your wards off real quick. Have a warm end, my friend. Buffer up. Yeah. Yes, he does move himself around a lot, so that should tick. Uh, that, that item I put on should deal quite a bit of damage over the whole battle. Let's do this. Get your other ward off. Carve open their husks. Gain a little bit of stats here. Yeah. We're going to get your last ward off. I don't know how you gained that ward, but... Maybe a trap would be really good here, too. Enemy in the position can't move. No, I, I want him to move. It's fine. That's that's also fine. Get counterattacked. Get that block removed. And... Still has... Oh, yeah. Let's get the aura up. There we go. Focus your hits. And do your worst. That actually was annoying. Don't do that anymore. He switched his stance. Now all of his attacks ignore all of our resistances. Okay. Um, let's get off your block, because that is really what stopped wreck. us here. Spine Bomb's not as good. I can't just spam Spine Bombs, particularly because he moves around too much for me to guarantee he's going to be in any particular position. Uh, we're gonna buff you up, right? Physical damage reduced. Hmm. Didn't know he did that. Ooh. We're gonna need to put wards on you so that I can heal you at some point. Got it. Yes. That is who you need to be hitting right here. Take your first big damage. Favor these last few heartbeats. Got it. And definitely want to put her in a stance again, but that means I'll have to. I guess it doesn't matter. Immune. Did that heal my vigor? It did not. Okay. Source of Wrath. Source of Vigor. This is the Source of Vigor. So let me see if I area of effect this if he heals any. It's going to be interesting to know. Right now he's at 88. Death he did heal. He did heal a little bit. Okay. Cool. 
cool. He took some magic damage from that. I don't know Make that them is. suffer. Oh my gosh, he's got so many moves. Now on his turn, he's going to oil his blade and cleanse all of his debuffs. So every time he gets an actual turn, he will cleanse all of his debuffs. So much physical damage reduction. Still probably best to do this. Have a warm end, my friend. One debuff will cause us to do a whole lot of extra damage. Good crit. Your frail bodies failed. Ooh. Not you, you're not allowed to crit. Counterattack him for his insolence. Alright. Heal him maybe? While we can. Sure. Perfect. That was a good one. Take everything from those you defend. All right, and then maybe get back in the stance. Yeah, the stance is the best. He's gonna attack so often, so having counterattack up is very, very useful. Dang, miss. Counterattack. It's working out good. Lastly, we're gonna smack him with a huge bit of damage here. Yep. Nice. Ooh, he can hit you all the way back there. Alright. will remove all buffs on the target. No problem. Totally cool with that. Let's... You still have big minus physical damage. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's get a guaranteed crit. Death predestined. Blast him. <laughs> Okay, that didn't do a lot because he can't ignore our block and our ward, so he's he's in like a really vulnerable spot right now. Let's absolutely tear you apart because this move will do a lot. Maybe that's too greedy. Maybe I should keep doing the counter. No, wait, what's this? Oh yeah, yeah. damage received is reduced. It's really good. Um, yeah, we're into this. None of those were a crit. Only one of them was. Five stacks of that attack, though. Five stacks of, of her Ashes of a Burned Witch. It's really good. Okay. Now... I can target him. Target deals more damage till the end of the battle. But the, but he cleanses himself. I'm gonna see. Perish. Take a metric ton of damage. Does he have any debuffs? Just a little bit. This should do a lot. This should do a lot. Yes! Yes! And then he takes damage on his turn. Okay, that's the after effect. Now it's his turn. He takes a bunch of damage. He's almost dead. Alright, son. It was a good fight. You are a unique boss. Your powers are sweet. You're a little challenging. 
but ultimately, counterattack team, too dang powerful. Lock in the crit, retain slot. A sad display for mortal kind. This is the mortal you bring before me to stop me, to stop my crusade, to stop my awakening. Ooh, mechanical eye. This minion's abilities can't miss. Uh, on my first run through, I actually had a mechanical eye on the Dampier, so I didn't have to focus on accuracy. And another Ashes of a Burned Witch. Seriously, my favorite, my favorite item in this game so far. Beastly. And a new item, Spirit Spear. After killing an enemy, the minion who dealt the killing blow receives two percent damage buff for the rest of the game. That's 30% extra damage. Well, that was an amazing place to end the episode. Uh, I am going to leave it at that. We'll pick up here, starting off in the fourth area. The area that I know truly nothing about. I only experienced a couple fights in there. So it will be a fresh experience for you guys and me. Thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, please share it comment subscribe let me know you're alive uh, as always peace peace